Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be all about Peter Thomas Roth. I'm so excited. They are one of my absolute favorite skincare lines that I use faithfully for close to one year. I am a very consistent uh, skincare lover, so their mask and their uh, skincare products uh, have worked well for my type of skin. So, as I always say, make sure you learn the type of skin you have, make sure you try, review, love it, feel it, and see what kind of texture your skin is all about, because most importantly is love it, treat it well, learn, pay attention what your skin likes and what your skin doesn't like. So, it's gonna be all about happy masking. So the first one is going to be the pumpkin uh, exfoliating that I'm going to be applying on my skin today. This one is only for like one to two minutes max. This one has the pumpkin enzyme. So I'm going to be exfoliating lightly, especially for the type of skin that I have is sensitive to combination, but uh, more sensitive and I don't wanna get any red patches on my skin. This one is a really, really good one. This has a nice scent and it's a uh, pumpkin. Who doesn't love pumpkin? Okay, so this is right after exfoliation. Not bad. Removes all the impurities. Um, anything to do with tired and exhaustion skin. I could see it glowing so let's go straight to the second step and this one is my cucumber uh gel mask i do cool them i cool all my gel mask this one i'm gonna go ahead and use it in the areas that are mostly dry this is good for refreshing cooling moisturizing gel to help soothe the look of dry skin now i normally don't have any type of dry skin only by my mouth area it normally gets more chapped and cracked by the areas of my so you dab around the area you feel the nice cooling effect you leave it on for 10 minutes and it's cucumber not bad at all next one is a real good one this one is a 24 karat gold mask this is pure luxury. This one is for firming and lifting and for rejuvenating your skin. This is nice. Now, um, I think I'm going to be using this one uh, for my chin area, neck, all this. Maybe a little bit up here on my forehead, but mostly focusing on my neck area. The next one is the rose stem cell. This one is more for like fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm gonna see if I go a little bit more like by my eye area, but not on my under eye. And um, I guess just focus on that area there. Let's see how that goes. So yes, uh, lightly dab, obviously with your ring finger, we all know that. That is the lightest finger. So we just go ahead and just dab a little bit under eye, not bad. All these stay on for 10 minutes. This one is another cooling one. This uh, rose cell, I keep all my gels again, refrigerated. And then I go around here because you know, you know, when you squint, you have those wrinkles there. So the next one is a fun one. This one is a Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. So this is more for like pores and anything with like uneven skin texture. So this one is a good one and obviously purifies, but is good for acne pore skin as well. But mine is mostly because I don't have that much acne, but I do have, you can't, see them let me go up close 
I do have pores. They're in there. And I'm on my T-zone. I have oily skin. So I'm going to focus on my nose and around here. So um, let's have fun. So yes, this one I'm focusing on the areas where I normally could break out. On my chin area, I'm big on that, especially in the summer. But now in the winter, my skin is just pretty, pretty good. So let's leave this on for 10 minutes and see how that goes. Our last but not least product, this one has really good ingredients. This one is a Blue Marine Algas Intense Hydration Mask. This Algas is really, really good. It's good for elasticity of our skin so i will be putting some on on the areas that i didn't really focus on so that'll be mostly on my forehead i love to hydrate my skin always i am ready to remove these masks it's been about 10 minutes some parts maybe a little bit more um yeah so I am so ready to see how it feels. So this was fun. Yes, yeah, so again, tip. Uh, I'm a huge fan of air drying. So I try to use a towel as minimum as possible and just dab softly, but the rest just dries off on its own. It feels so refreshing. I love it. The, the mask that had the most tingle and I felt it a little bit more than all the other ones was the pumpkin. It had the enzymes. So that one is a little slight peel, ting a little. So yes, and it's an exfoliator. So we have to be really, really careful with that exfoliation in our skin. Try to exfoliate as minimum as possible. Once a week is probably enough. We don't need all that excessive uh, rubbing and scrubbing on our skin treat it well and it will love all the ingredients that you try to place on your skin. girls thank you so much for being part of love your skin following me on instagram subscribing to my youtube and just talking about our beauty and lifestyle and just connecting and let's talk down below who has tried the Peter thomas rock who loves it which other mask is your favorite uh, which one has uh, done well and which is the one that you mostly do go let's talk about it